I don't think there's any question that the greatness of Erie is due to its uh, Philippine national staff. The contributions of the national staff are incomparable, just incomparable. Um, and I, Erie discovered a model that that I didn't fully appreciate until last year. Um, this <laughs> after nine years of being director general, okay, seven years additional working for Erie as a scientist. I didn't, and Erie created this, discovered this model completely by accident. And I was reviewing with Chris Crooms, our HR head here, the, our staff profiles and that sort of thing. And we're remarking that the turnover time of international staff on the average is about seven years. And turnover time of the national staff was closer to 20 years. And it, it just clicked in my mind that you have a machine that's moving forward and you have different parts of the machine turning at different cycles. And you have an IRS turning at a much faster rate that brings in new thinking from outside, brings in new thinking. Postdocs, entry-level scientists, they stay for seven years, they go on to their career. Maybe they come back to here, maybe they don't. And they're bringing in, constantly injecting new, new ideas. You have another part of the machine that's turning over much more slowly, that's taking up that knowledge and innovation that's coming in from the young scientists, but containing and retaining the past experience and accumulated knowledge. And that system of interaction, of timing, the national staff having the institutional memory, the experience, the knowledge of the, of the historical nature of the experiments, the context within which we're working, constantly interjecting and interacting with new scientists coming board, coming on board, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant model of renovation, rejuvenation, and conservation. And I thought, holy hell. You couldn't have designed a better system. Of course, it wasn't designed. It just pure my luck. But it's a brilliant, brilliant uh, mechanism. And, and you don't see that. And I, I just, and I look at that, and I think that among among so many other things, explains Erie's great success. It's that contribution, the commitment, the devotion of the longevity of the national staff, with the excitement, the innovation of new, new international staff coming and going, and uh, it, it, it's, 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 it's quite a feat. And I'll have to think about this and maybe write it up and get some numbers behind it. Because I think it's, that was an insight that hit me, as I said, just a year ago. And, and it was, it was like one of those lightning scientific discoveries. You go, oh, of course, it's so obvious. But nobody had said that before, as far as I could tell. That nature of Erie and its success is utterly dependent on that model. But that model would never work without the Filipino culture. I mean, the tremendous work ethic, tremendous loyalty, tremendous sense of family, Tremendous sense of community and commitment, um, all of which contribute, and that that is another reason that Erie has been successful, so, so successful. That Filipino culture, that I mean, it has its downsides. Don't get me wrong, but uh, <clears throat> it's a major contributor to um, to making Erie what it what it is and what it has achieved. Mm -hmm.